happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you all how to achieve the perfect chrome nail i wanted to do a dedicated video on how to do chrome nails because i realized i don't have one on my channel i recently got some chrome powders in from timu um i recently hauled this and so i'm going to leave the link for that haul um, down in the description box below but yeah i wanted to show you all how to achieve the perfect chrome nails and honestly i've done a couple of chrome nail sets on my channel before um i'll link to those videos as well but again i just wanted to have a dedicated video showing you all how to achieve the perfect chrome nail and so this is the little palette here that i got from amazon and i love this palette because it has a lot of beautiful um, light pastel kind of like springtime colors in it and um, yeah I just didn't have any chrome powders like this and then also in this color scheme so with that I have a couple of gel polishes that I'm going to be putting on some nails and these are the polishes here that I'm going to be using and they essentially kind of match the um, the color scheme of the palette. So um, I am going to be putting them on some press on nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then we'll get to chroming it out, okay? These are the colors I'm gonna be using. First, I'm gonna be going in with a color from Madame Glam and it's in the color The Star. I actually recently just hauled this color too and it's so beautiful. Next, I'm gonna be going in with another color from Madame Glam and it's called Riverwalk. One final color here from Madame Glam and it's in the color Guardian Angel. Then I have this color here from Nail Whisper and it's in the color N06. I also have another color from Nail Whisper and it's in the color N11. And last but not least, I have this really beautiful pastel green from Landfall and it's in the color 2. One, these are some affordable gel polishes that I got from Amazon. I do have um, full unboxings and swatch videos of these two products as well. So I'll leave this unboxing link down in the description box below. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats of all the polishes on all the nails. Okay, happy people. So as I am swatching out these gel polishes, I wanted to say that um, this tutorial is gonna show you what these colors look like on a colored background, what those chromes look like over um, a gel polish color but stay tuned till the end because I'm actually going to show you all what they look like swatched out on a white background as well as on a black background and the effect is absolutely beautiful so yeah make sure you all stay tuned to the end so after you apply two layers of the gel polish color to the nails next you want to go in with a no wipe top coat um, so I'm going to be going in with my no wipe top coat from Beatles you all know this is one of my favorite um, top coats so I'm going to go in with this and apply it to all the nails. Hey, mommy. Here's Yara. Hi. Hi, Yara. Mommy. Yes? Fly. A fly? Oh, uh, you remember the fly from last time? Oh my gosh. That's so funny. What's up? Fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up? I don't know where to fly. I hope it don't come back. Because mommy got no time. this is what all the nails are looking like after top coat and one of the things that's um, important with chrome nails um, unless you're using a white background when you're doing your chrome powders you kind of want to use a color that's similar to the color of the chrome powder so that it really just kind of enhances the color of the like the nail color and so for instance for this uh, yellow chrome powder here I definitely wanted to choose a yellow that was kind of closer to that yellow and the same for this light blue at the bottom just wanted to choose a color that was kind of similar so that when i chromed it out it will pop, make the nails pop a little bit more um so yeah now i'm going to go ahead and chrome this yellow nail when you're doing chrome nails what you want to do is you want to take a little bit of chrome powder on the sponge so what i'll do is i'll go into the chrome powder and i'll tap three times i'll do one two three and that gets just a little bit of product on the nails I don't know if you can see it here that might not be enough might be enough we'll see but the first thing you want to do is you want to go in and you just want to tap the powder all over the nail first oh look at that you can already kind of see you know just tap it tap it tap it tap it tap it right and then after you've tapped it all over the nail then you want to go in with a scrubbing motion to create that chrome effect and you'll keep scrubbing until you get that effect that you want And you want to make sure you scrub on the entire surface of the nail 
as well as on the ends so that whenever you go to seal it in, um, there's no splotchiness or anything like that. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of that powder and just continue to chrome it out. And yeah, y'all, chrome nails are super easy. They've been one of my favorite um, things to do with my nails this summer. And just, yeah, it's just so easy, so fun, and it just really elevates any nail look, you know what I mean? And yeah, that's the chrome nail. And what I like to do also, just for added security, so that when I go in with my top coat on my chrome nail, there's not any excess powder, is I'll take the other side of that same sponge, and I'll just do like a dry rub just to get up any product that um, didn't go into the chrome or didn't chrome out. That way, like I said, when I go in and add my top coat, um, you know, it doesn't mess up. Uh, my top coat there's no like loose glitters or flakes or anything like that so yeah y'all that looks so pretty see so, yeah, I'm going to repeat that process on the rest of the nails that is again the yellow nail now I'm going to go in and chrome this blue nail and with the blue nail I'm going to use this really pretty light blue chrome powder and I'm just going to use the other end of the sponge in order to do that and again I'm going to just tap into the powder maybe like three or four times again tap 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 on the entire surface of the nail oh that's pretty that is so pretty wow and then after you tapped on the entire surface of the nail, you just go and scrub that chrome powder right into the surface. And look how beautiful that is. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is stunning, you guys. And you see, it really just, it doesn't take a lot of powder at all to do. I'm just gonna tap a little bit more on there just because. But yeah, you really don't need a lot. A little goes a very long way and then once I feel like that's rubbed all the way into the nail I will flip the sponge over okay and then I'll just rub off I'll go in one direction when I'm rubbing off the excess powder and that's just to make sure I don't smudge the chrome finish and look at that that's such a pretty periwinkle blue and that chrome just really takes it to the next level. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that on all the nails. On the white one here, I actually couldn't find one that matched this peach color all that well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on a white background. So again, you just wanna tap three times. And literally this is all the powder that I have on my makeup tool or sponge. And again, you just wanna tap it into the nail Like so, maybe just up the way. Tap it into the nail. And then you just rub up and down, circular motions until the chrome finishes there. Oh, how pretty is this? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it doesn't take much powder at all for that chrome finish. Again, flip the sponge over, and then you just go in one direction. I normally go down, and that's just to remove the excess powder from the surface of the nail. Yep, and then you just repeat that process on all the nails. There you guys, and really chroming nails is just as simple as that. It does not take a lot of effort or work at all. It's very easy, very simple. And it's a great way to just elevate, you know, your nail look. So again, I'm gonna flip it over, go in one direction, rub straight down. How beautiful is this? These are all the nails that I chromed out for this set. I am gonna go ahead and also um, chrome out these powders just on a white and a black background so you guys can see what they look like. I'm gonna do that off camera. In order to seal in the chrome design, the last thing you wanna do is just go in with another layer of the No White Top Coat. And it's gonna be important that with this layer, you make sure that you seal the end, like the tip of the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. With that, you wanna make sure you go in with a generous layer of your top coat like so and then once you get close to the edges you want to go in and just seal the edges so I'll go like this like this 
and like this at the tip of the edge. And that's gonna ensure that your top coat doesn't peel or expose any of the chrome. You don't want any of the chrome to be exposed because that'll cause it to kind of peel off of the nail or rub off of the nail. Yeah, y'all, this is how you do a chrome nail. And I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds and repeat the same process on all the rest of the nails. We'll get back with the finished look of how these look chromed out with top coat, as well as what they look like on a white background and a black background. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes. So this is how all the nails are looking like, chromed out and with a top coat on it. So you all can see that yellow, that light blue, that really beautiful peachy color the purple this is the deeper blue that was in that palette and this color here is that light green that was in that palette so this is what all the colors look like if you decided to put them on top of a colored nail but i also want to show you all what they look like on just a plain white background and on a plain black background so this is what they look like swashed out on black and white so really quick i want to give a shout out to jenna's nails Hey sweetheart, I love that hack that you did on your channel. And so um, that's how I'm gonna be swatching out um, like my chrome powders. She showed it on her channel recently where she just did half of the swatch stick white and half of the swatch stick black. And it just, it saved so much time and swatch sticks and product, etc. So let me show you all what they look like on a um, black background. It looks so cool on a black background. And so the first set I'm going to show you all is this top row here. So it's going to be in that same order. You'll see the yellow, the peach, and the purple, what it looks like on black. This is what these colors look like on a black background, but how beautiful is this? So again, this is that yellow, that peachy color, and then the purple absolutely love this and then if you want to know what they look like on a white background this is what they look like so i love that it has that just subtle shift to it you know if you're doing white nails this is a perfect way to kind of spruce it up so again that yellow that peachy color and then that purpley color so yeah again i thought this hack was pretty cool but this is that first set of colors i'm going to show you all this bottom row here, which is this light blue, the light green, and then this uh, other little bit deeper blue. On a black background, this is what that looks like swashed out. How gorgeous is this, you all? Okay, so this is that light blue, which is crazy because it actually looks like it's way deeper. You all see in the palette how light it is, but on a black background, it looks so much deeper. It's almost like a royal blue. It's really pretty. And this one's a really beautiful, kind of like fairy green. And then um, this is the other blue here. Really, really gorgeous colors. And then this is what they look like on a white background. So again, you just get that subtle shift. That's the blue, the green, and then the other blue really really beautiful i hope you guys can see these swatches so yeah you guys these are all the nails that i swatched out for today's video i just wanted to make a dedicated video showing you all how to actually swatch chrome powders um properly and um yeah i am a huge fan of these chrome powders from timu like y'all were not lying these are really really nice and so um i don't know if they have other uh, palettes on their website but i'm definitely going to be taking a look these were only like three and some change on timu's website so i'm going to leave them Link down in the description box below um, along with my haul video where I hauled um, this uh, product along with a lot of other goodies from Timu so yeah I hope you all enjoyed the video I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye